Good day to you. I'm Pastora Rose and welcome to Jesus Our Healer. Today, we want to encourage you that by the wounds of Jesus, you are healed. We want to start encouraging you by reading some of the promises of God regarding healing. In Psalm 86 verse 15, it says here, But you, O Lord, are God, merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. And in Psalm 145 verse 9, The Lord is good to all, and His mercy is over all that He has made. In Psalm 143 verse 1, Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my plea for help. In your faithfulness, answer me in your righteousness. Psalm 116 verse 1, I love the Lord because He has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Right now, we want to cry out, for mercy, for the mercy of God to be in your life. If you are here and you are a frontliner, bless your heart. You have been working so hard for more than a year now to bless and to serve this country. We want to pray for your healing and want to pray for God to sustain you. Now, if you are here and you know someone who is a frontliner, please join me also in prayer right now and mention their names as we pray. Join me in prayer. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, for our beloved frontliners. We thank you, Lord, for their love, for their hard work, for their service. And Father, we ask right now for some of our frontliners who are sick in their bodies. They have been working hard to the point that their body is already failing. We ask in Jesus' name, Lord, restore them to health. Lord, nurse them from their sick bed in Jesus' name and let your healing flow in the bodies of our frontliners from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Thank you so much, Lord, that you're going to heal them. Father, we also pray, God, that you will protect them from this COVID-19, that it will not come near them, oh God, that it will not come near their relatives and their family as they go home. Father, we believe, oh God, in Psalm 91, in your promise that you are our shield. God, we ask in Jesus' name that our beloved frontliners will be your shield, that you will be their fortress, their rock, their refuge, oh God, that this COVID-19 will not come near them, oh God. And Father, even as they go to the duties, oh God, and responsibilities that they have on a daily basis, we thank you, Lord, that you will help them to endure. We thank you so much, oh God, that supernatural strength will flow upon their bodies, oh God. And Lord, always give them hope, oh God, and encouragement. And always give them, Lord, reasons to smile, oh God, reasons to be joyful as they see, oh God, that healing, the healing that is taking place. As they see, oh God, the miracles that is taking place. Thank you so much, O oh God, for blessing and restoring the strength and to help our beloved frontliners. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, we want to spend a few minutes in worship as we sing this beautiful song, Mended. When you see broken
Indeed, God is mending that which is broken. In James chapter 1, verse 17, it says here, Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down from us, from God to our Father who created all lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadows. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, Am I certain that God, who began a good work within you, will continue His work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns? And in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Don't copy the behavior and the customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Beloved, we believe that we have a good God. And because He is a good God, Every good and perfect gift comes from Him, and that includes healing and restoration of your body. Right now, we want to pray for a special group of people, those of you who have COVID-19, or maybe you have relatives and friends who have COVID-19. We want to pray for them as well. We believe that Jesus Christ is our big C. He is our Emmanuel who is always with us, who will never leave us nor forsake us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, for your people with COVID-19 because we know, Lord, that you are healing them. Because we know, God, that you are restoring them to strength. You are restoring them to health, O oh God. Father, we thank you that you are our all-powerful, almighty God and that by your wounds, O oh God, your people with COVID-19 are being healed, O oh God. That the power of that COVID-19 is being broken into the bodies of your people, O oh God. And healing is flowing instead in Jesus' name. Life is flowing instead in Jesus' name. Lord, some of them are having a difficulty in breathing. We ask, O oh God, that you're going to wash away that discomfort, Lord, and let that oxygen level be normal in Jesus' name. God, some of them have pneumonia. We command, O oh God, that lungs to be clear and normal. Lord, some of them, O oh God, are experiencing, O oh God, difficulty, Lord, in their sleep because they are worried, O oh God, because they are afraid, O oh God. Wash away every fear, O oh God. Wash away those worries, O oh God. And still, Lord, some of them are waiting anxiously waiting for the result of the swab test, O oh God. Lord, let it be negative this time in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, God, that your people, O oh God, will live, O oh God, and you will give them a life worth living, that they will get out of that sick bed, O oh God, healed and strengthened, O oh God, in Jesus' name that, Lord, they will be free from that COVID-19 and that your healing will rest upon the bodies of your people and there will be no permanent 
effect, negative effect of COVID-19 in their bodies. Because Lord, as you heal them, you will also restore them. And as you restore them, you will restore them completely. Thank you so much, our healing Jesus, for healing the bodies of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let us continue to worship the Lord and declare that He is our healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus, a healing Jesus. He's healing you in Jesus' name right now. He's a that even at this moment, God is touching you and healing you completely. Thank you so much for joining us today in prayer. Join us once again tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. God bless you and have a great day. Jesus, our healer.